Thank I've really you. loved it. I did not see this interview going this way, but <laughs> this is great. I love it. Come and give us your unpopular opinion. Something up till now that you've been scared to say. Catherine! I like using dog poo as a hand warmer. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Any questions, Julia, for, okay. for Catherine? Hmm. I totally see what she means. Mm -hmm. Um. I think I've probably done that too, actually. Right. You know, when it's like hot, it comes out steamy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I've definitely put it in my hand and like kind of squeezed the bag. Mm. It has like a stress. It's like a, those stress balls. It is nice. I have done that before. Yeah. But uh, I don't do it every time. I no. Well, it's, it's a special. It's a treat, why. isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a special treat. Mm -hmm. Maybe a, maybe a little fri a Friday <laughs> evening treat for, for being a good, for being work, for working well oh in the week. God, these are crazy. So, Catherine, I just want to check before we continue. It is yeah. bagged. It's definitely yeah, bad. It has to be and bad. My my reason for doing this is because he goes thirty seconds later and has another one. And I was like, well, do I use two bags or do I just go and rescoop? And I thought I'll rescoop. But then mm. I was like, well, I'm holding now poo in my hand in mm. a bag. Ah, I and love I thought, it. I'll just a sustainable think queen. Of it as a hand warmer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, this is the thing about dog owners will know, right? You get used to it very quickly. You're oh, like, for oh, sure. I'm just, it's just not, this is totally normal mm -hmm. to the point where um, I, I was walking with my dog and a friend of mine who is not very doggy, but I, and I um, decided to try and show off by, and I don't, I don't know if I should reveal this. I'm going to, you have you're, to now. because you're here. Yeah. And I hope you appreciate it. I caught it directly from... Oh, I've done that before. Okay, great. Yeah, That's yeah, fine. yeah. I've done that before. Phew. Yeah, because I, I have a St. Bernard. She's 200 pounds. Yeah. So you can imagine her poops. Yeah. And she was having a very runny poop. Right. So, and I, and the, mm. the neighbors get angry when, when she goes, and, you know, I have to clean it up. So I just held the bag like open under yeah. her, her booty and then yeah. she did it in the back. And I, I, I wish someone was there to witness it because I was like, yeah. yes. Yeah, my friend was really shocked. Mm -hmm. But I actually did it like a, just like a baseball catch. Oh wow! So straight straight into the mitt. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, there you go. Wow, that's, that's that. And look, it's totally fine. It's you know whatever gets you through the day. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Catherine, this has been an amazing conversation. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Catherine. You very much. Okay. And what bye. dog have you got, by the way? Give a shout out oh, to your he's, dog. He's um he's called Toby, and he's a Cairn Terrier. So he's like off the Wizard of Oz, that type of dog. Oh, he's a tiny dog. <laughs> yeah. Little. Oh, yeah. that's nice. nice. Well, big up Toby as well. And uh, we'll, we'll chat to you soon. Thanks so much, Catherine. Let's go again. <laughs> Come and give us your unpopular opinion. Something up to now that you've been scared to say. Do you know what? You're doing better than, you're doing better than The Rock did. Oh. <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to write it down for him. Oh, wait, I was about to ask you to write it down. I can write it down for I'll write it down for, the, for the, next, the next guy. Next up, we've got Jake. Everybody should have flushable wet wipes in their toilets at all times. Oh, it's very sort of toilet heavy today, isn't it? This? Yeah, I, you know, I I agree and I do have flushable toilet wipes, but I only oh, keep goodness. them there for my guests because they actually do clog up the pipes. They don't disintegrate as well mm. as toilet paper. Mm. So once I discovered that, I stopped using them. Right. So are you saying, Jake, that you, you keep them on you at all times sort of just throughout your day? Yeah, I've always got them in the van. They're always in the toilets, especially for guests. That's for when you go number two, I'm assuming. Yes. Right, mm. yeah. Or just for a little freshen up, mm -hmm, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They're great for everything. Are you quite messy? Um, I wouldn't say I'm messy. I just, you know, I appreciate cleaning off um, toxic waste properly. <laughs> Nice. Jake, it's fantastic. Thank you, Jake. Uh, <laughs> Julie, just, thank you. See, what, what you've done there, that is that is Radio 101. You've nailed it. When you want to get rid of a caller, you just say, thank you, Jake. In a re you do it really war in a really warm way. Thank you for your call, Jake. I'm learning. And then suddenly they just disappear. Look, Jake's gone. Bye, Jake. We did love you. <laughs> Let's go again. And... Come and give us your unpopular opinion Something up till now that you've been scared to say You didn't even need me to write it down oh. You smashed it And finally, Sean! I love wearing damp clothes Okay, let's dig into that Oh wow, damp clothes So you're busy, I'm guessing Is this that is that because you're taking it out of the, the dryer too soon? Uh, no, I don't have a dryer I'm, uh, I just put it outside And then mm. when it's cold... I'm 
nice and chewy in the morning. Oh. So you like the cold, refreshing sensation on your skin? Yes. Wakes every oh. part of the body up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Problem is, though, Sean... I'm the opposite of that. You need to be properly dried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the thing is, Sean, what can happen is that all your clothes can start smelling of underarms. Mildew. Yeah, they can get quite sort of... Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if I can get down with that one, Sean. I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Yeah. We found something that you don't that, that Julia doesn't agree with, Sean. No. So um, you're talking under underwear and everything? Underwear, socks, T-shirts, pants. Mm. There is, I mean, there's a massive problem in this country is that we have about three months a year where the clothes can dry outside. Right. And the rest of the time you have to just run around the house trying to find a radiator or like trying to put it next to the warmest thing. You might find the boiler and hang some socks on the boiler. Well, then Sean's definitely born in the right place. <laughs> it's raining here all the time. What happens if you leave the clothes out and then it, it rained? Do you still put them on? Um, No. Not, not that wet. Okay, okay. It's not crazy. All right, all right. All right. It's not mad. <laughs> yeah, Sean, it's a really good unpopular opinion. And are you wearing damp clothes today? Uh, I am, yes. So this is something you do every day? <laughs> yes, pretty much. Wow. It goes that way. What do you do for a living, Sean? What, who, are you, who are you working with? Uh, I work on my own, funnily enough. Uh, probably okay. for <laughs> yeah, probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> what does your wife or your girlfriend or your partner say about that? Oh, they uh, they hate it. They hate it. Yeah, yeah. I, I could see why. Yeah, secretly trying to just go off and dry your clothes for yeah. you. <laughs> you. You would know, I guess. Yeah. You, you'd, you'd rumble them. What about just taking like a cold shower in the morning or something? <laughs> oh, there's no time. Oh, I wake up too late. Time. okay. Sean's okay. busy. Sean right. is busy. What, what do you do? I'm intrigued. Are you working on your own? What do you do? Are you a spy? No, <laughs> I'm a I'm a truck driver, but I also do a, a I'm a plant batcher in uh, Ramsbottom. What, what all is of that those a things? Plant batcher? What's that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I I know what the truck the truck I got the truck driver one, and then a plant what a batcher? Plant batcher. Yeah. What does so, that mean? Uh, uh, it's like working with like mortar. You know what you build houses with. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. And then the place he talked about, Ramsbottom, is a place in, in the UK. Okay. Yeah. And I believe there's a place called Upper Ramsbottom, which is one of my favourite places Ram's in the world. Ramsbottom, wow. There's, there's an Upper Ramsbottom as well, huh. which is not a nice place to be. Nice. Um, Gotta visit. No. Sean, <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show thank today. Thank you, Sean. Give my regards to your lizard. And, yeah. and mine to yours. <laughs> um... That's that is unexplainable. What he just said then, the I, lizard thing. I, oh, what's that? You have, well, a lizard, you have a pet lizard. It's like a little. It's like a little catchphrase goodbye from the listeners and me sometimes. Okay. Because that's what David Attenborough said once. He called you a lizard. No, he called. He was chatting to a kid called Harry who had a lizard and oh. said, "Give my regards to your lizard." Okay, and then it just kind of took and that, off, and now it's like an inside joke between you and the listeners. Yeah, me and lots oh, of people. Okay. Well, there you go. Cute. When I say goodbye to you, I'm going to say give my regards to your lizard. Okay, and I'll say it back. You just have to say, and, and mine and to my, yours. And mine to yours. Yeah. Okay. Julia Fox, it has been such a pleasure having you on the show today. Oh, thanks for having me. This is really fun. I've really liked And I hope you've enjoyed Unpopular Opinion. I have. That was definitely very unpopular. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. A lot of dog poo chat, which I didn't yeah. expect. But um, I'm pleased I love it. we found some common ground mm -hmm. with that. I, mean, I think I related a little too much, but yeah. it's and, okay. And next time I'm catching my dog's poo in my hand, I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> I never asked you if you had an unpopular opinion. Well, I sleep with the hair dryer on. And okay. I feel like that's probably unpopular because some feedback I get is mixed about that. But then once they do it, they like it too. Well, so I mean, look, it's what kind I'm, of this, one of those things you just have to try. It's an acquired taste. What I will say is whatever works for you yeah. to get to sleep, because sleep is very important. Uh -huh. We all know that, getting up at stupid o'clock in the morning. But, right. So quite, quite loud. Hair dryer. I like the white noise. Quite hot. Well. I like the heat. So That's why I could not relate to the Mr. Damp Clothes Man. Yeah. Um, because I just, I, I like everything very hot, very toasty. What, is it? Do you hang it up? Because you can't just keep no, it on the carpet. I No, I just put it like on top of the bed. On top of the bed? I know. <laughs> There'll be there'll be firefighters listening to the show now. That's going, what everybody yeah, says. But you know what? I've been doing it since I was like, maybe I want to say like eight or nine years old. Yeah. And I haven't had any fire occasionally <laughs> it'll just burn out though like it'll just like kind of stop working and maybe since a little bit of smoke might come up from the from the motor but that is amazing yeah
that. You know, you, know you, li- you like you know, what you like. I, so I think it's great. And you know, weirdly, I'm going away this evening. Mm-hmm. So I've got a ba- an overnight bag with me. With your hair dryer? I've got a hair dryer in it. I, Just I try it. Mind, I think we should do the final bit of the interview. Oh my God, don't turn it on because I will fall asleep. Like now I've associated that sound to sleep. So when I'm getting my hair done yeah. and they turn it on, I just start like nodding off in the chair. It's the, fi- so this is the final bit of the, of the, of the interview. Oh, gonna, oh gonna my God, the, the, the weight of my heart. With the, Get with pointed the, oh, here. Yeah. Put it at my hands. Put it all the way up. Uh, all the heat. The heat all the way up. Is the heat all the way up? Yeah, it's all the way up. It's okay. on. Oh, so nice. I love it. You know, don't you love it? I mean, I You're, love it, yeah. You see it, right? I get it. Yeah. So nice. You so the, do you have it on full? It depends. Full, sometimes low. <laughs> It depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Is this making you sleepy? I love it. Yeah, and you're also giving me a blowout. So <laughs> keep going. It's a Do fantastic blowout. blowout, darling. <laughs> there we go. Well, <laughs> Julia, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the breakfast show. Oh wow. I've really Thank loved you. it. I did not see this interview going this way, but <laughs> this is great. I love it. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Say, say bye to your lizard. Say hi to your lizard for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <Thank> you, bye. <laughs>